morning, morning, morning. Second video today, we are really blasting them out. Um, it's December 1st, first day of the month, um, 2020. Um, let's start, as always, with the euro dollar, some daily bar analysis. Um, quite an interesting day yesterday. We put in this uh, bearish reversal-ish kind of candle at 1.2, uh, 120, I mean, um, which is like at this huge level in the, in the euro one that I think is going to break um, in the near future. Uh, but already we see that the bulls are, are fighting back this morning. I mean, they, they've they've taken, um, they've rallied and taken back half of the territory that uh, the, bear, uh, the bears managed to uh, to claim yesterday. And um, I'm, the reason why I don't like this bearish pin bar is that if you look to the left and see what happened last time at one, 120, and this was like a near perfect uh, pin bar. This one, not so much. So to me, the bulls are still very much in control uh, on the euro. And um, and if we can claim, uh, if the bulls can claim 1.2 and close above it, then I think we'll see a, a, a pop higher, um, maybe to uh, 121. Um, again, if you look at the monthly, this would have been a, this uh, last month's November candle, if we manage to close above that and completely en engulf this uh, this range, then um, I think we would see a pop to uh, 125 um, in the coming months. But it wasn't to be yesterday. So maybe it's going to take a little bit longer, but um, all eyes on, on 1.2. There is, Powell is speaking, he's testifying today. Um, so depending on what he says, it might be enough to... Uh, um, to to send the euro higher you know overall he's he's a dove so um i guess he's going to say the right things to try and uh, talk the dollar down on to um cable pound against the dollar forming a range between 134 and 132.90 uh, this last couple of days quite a perfect range um perfect ranges are there to be broken I've also put in this kind of trend line, which seemed to have some reaction. And uh, again, we've we kind of found resistance there this morning. Um, but let's see what happens around around there. Um, this range has kind of been tested a few times now. So the more times uh, that the bulls knock on the door, it's going to make the bears a little bit weaker. Um, and a close above this area We'll bring in the September the 1st um, high into play, 134.83. Um, and then a close above there, there's a, there's a lot of fresh air. So um, expect this dollar weakness to continue and these pairs to break out soon. But I imagine that everybody is, is thinking the same as me. So when that happens, usually the opposite works. <laughs> um, one thing to keep an eye out is for false breakouts when the range is this kind of uh, this type um, so any pop below any close back inside the range usually leads to a breakout the other side um, and the same uh, vice versa so any close below back inside this range we could see a move down and um, although I've been saying I'm bullish I mean if the if the pound did close below uh, 133 then there's plenty of room to to come and test this uh this trend line that I've, um, i got marked up you know so can't say it won't happen nobody knows um dollar against the yen uh, and kind of nice two bar reversal here um for this pair that happened yesterday on big round number 104. Uh, you know how um, how important these big round numbers are on this pair. So uh, it was it was nice to see a kind of a break below that and a close exactly on it. 
Um, that, sorry, a close um, 30 pips away from uh, the big run number at the end. It's kind of like a little small false breakout um, around there. So I expect that we're going to move toward move higher towards this uh, this trend line. Uh, but like I've said in the past, I'm, I'm kind of neutral on this pair until we, we get out of this, uh, this wedge pattern here. So just keep an eye on the big round numbers on this on these pairs. GJ. Um, the higher lows are still intact in this pair. As you can see, we've put in a series of higher lows now. Um, and the kind of form in this uh, wedge here where the resistance is uh, this big round number, 140. Um, yeah, 140, right? Um, the supports is uh, one, well, what's this low here? Let me see. 13834. Um, and then also 138, big round numbers. If we can close below this, um, maybe 138, then um, I should expect this trend line that I've got marked up to be, uh, to be tested um, soon. But depending on what happens uh, outside of this wedge, again, look for any false breakouts this high, um, Although it's above 140, it's, it's going to be important. So we might break this resistance, uh, test that level, and then uh, sell off uh, and break this uh, this trend line. Or we might um, just break out through both levels and uh, and continue on to the se September the first high of 142.71. Um, so all depends what happens as well with the the dollar yen and, and cable. Um, if we see dollar weakness, then that means that uh, GY just kind of get pulls apart and um, it, in both directions and, and and could get quite choppy. So um, wait and see on this market as well. Euro against the yen, a uh, big reaction to uh, 125 yesterday and this huge level now, which is put in a quadruple top. Um, although this is a nice pin bar, it's the same kind of deal with the euro. That um, the you, after this kind of perfect pin bar, you would expect the some bears to to, to continue selling and um, and try and reach one twenty three, you know, two hundred pip um, play. But the balls have claimed back over half the territory already, and um, and I think a close above this is going to be going to be some stops. So we could see a move to um, one twenty seven um, area should we should we close above one twenty five, um, which I think is quite possible this week. Also, I've been talking about this head and shoulders uh, inverse head and shoulders area. So uh, one twenty five is also the neckline for that. So quite interesting to see. Uh, what happens with this pair? Um, Aussie dollar, some reaction at 74 yesterday, similar to um, the euro, uh, euro USD. It's not the bear, not the most bearish looking um, pattern I've seen, although it did completely eclipse Friday's candle. Um, volumes are, are pretty low at the moment, so uh, let's see what happens. But we're knocking on this uh, this. This, this 71 level here and um, I'm following this this uh, this huge uptrend of the, of the year after selling off 1500 pips I believe um, in the first quarter we've now uh, rallied um, 1900 uh, pips in the in the Aussie dollar so um, depending on where we close this month if we close near the highs or even above this level then it's going to be a big yearly pin bar for uh, for this pair, which I've I've, uh, I've mentioned on Twitter, and then I think a close above here, uh, we could see this shoot higher and this um, 
this trend continue and this uh, this dollar weakness, if we get any kind of continuation in dollar weakness and all these pairs are kind of set up to um, to really break out. Same with the uh, with the dollar CAD. Um, yesterday we had a, a fight back of this important level. Um, this kind of line in the sand that the bulls and bears is kind of like Helmand Province. They uh, they really want to want to keep this line, but they're knocking on the uh, the bears are knocking on the door again of uh, of one two nine fifty, which I think are, are close below that. Again, more dollar weakness uh, is set up. For a for a big break um, lower, if I show you on the uh, on the monthly chart, I'm sure you've seen it if you follow us on Twitter and stuff. But we've been talking about this 129. You can see we briefly uh, got below it yesterday, and, but closed above on the monthly. So um, anything any close below that, um, I expect a run down to 120 area for the uh, for um, dollar CAD. Euro Aussie, and this is the monthly. <laughs> it's just a uh, stayed on monthly because I was on CAD, but I'm not sure if this is kind of like the biggest head and shoulders forming or what. Um, if you flick onto the daily, you can see why I'm not really interested in this pair. It's, it's really sideways at the moment. So, um, uh, I mean, this was amazing to trade in. Uh, in the earlier part of the year, um, but this stuff is, uh, is is pretty difficult. So I'm not going to spend too long dwelling on the uh, on the Euro Aussie dollar. Gold, in fact, has been all right um, following this break and these two inside bars. We see a continuation of the sell up, sell off. Um, the bulls have stepped in. Uh, at 1765, which was this high back in May, um, I was expecting them to to wait for this 1750 area, which was resistance a few times, and then um, act as a support here. But we didn't get that far, and um, already the bulls have managed to claim um, uh, 25, 30 points in gold. 1800 is going to be the next level, the next line in the sand. Uh, as you can see, it briefly acted as a support before breaking through, and then, um, and then became resistance on the way down. So, expect maybe a range around eighteen hundred uh, before gold deciding uh, whether it's going to retest this, the breakout area or continue lower. Uh, might as well talk about the FTSE um, after. The, this uh, positive uh, rally in the FTSE following the, um, the positive vaccine news. Um, the FTSE is he like heavily weighted in, in, in uh, pharmaceutical co uh, company. So you, this is to be expected, I guess, with, uh, with Astra, the big UK firm, um, hopefully having a vaccine ready um, and it sounds pretty pretty good uh, keep an eye on this level it formed this tight range um, after that which is consolidation after this up move um, this could be a false breakout here uh, like I said um, with false breaks if it closes back inside the range and usually it leads to a breakout higher and that would um, that would make sense because it's just following the trend so yeah, a, a move upwards, um, I think, is on the cards here, and uh, and possibly a break of uh, six thousand five hundred and five, which was this high back in June. Um, yeah, so keep your eye on FTSE, see where it, the close today is really important. Let's see if it closes back inside this range. But anyway, that's the analysis. Hope it was uh, beneficial to you. Um, good luck with your trading. If you haven't subscribed to our YouTube, please do. Um, I think, I think um, we talk a lot about price action and, and system act trading. So, uh, so if you like what we, we say, um, or maybe you uh, you think we can improve somehow, just uh, just let us know. Thanks, guys. See ya. Good luck.